In warfare today, mobility of firepower is the key to victory. Recognizing this important factor, the Army has made the regimental unit its core in combat. To act quickly in battle, the Army has given the regimental unit its own command and the necessary firepower backing to do any job. These regimental combat teams assigned their own tank and artillery forces have become the backbone of America's fighting army. Instead of an unwieldy army organized for action at divisional or corps level, America's fighting force is now split into fast-moving, highly mobile attack teams of regimental strength, which have their own supporting artillery and heavy weapons units. In General Ridgway's own words, the new tactical trend is this. We are not interested in real estate. We are interested only in inflicting maximum casualties on the enemy with minimum losses to ourselves. To do this, we must wage a war of maneuver, slashing at the enemy when he withdraws and fighting delaying actions when he attacks. Doing this job is the Armored Task Force Team. It's a technical job taking all the resources of science and industry to meet its demands. Observation of the enemy is no longer a soldier looking through field glasses. It's a mathematical process run by soldier scientists. Delicate instruments which see the flash of enemy guns and give their location in terms of a compass reading, making it a matter of seconds before an artillery gun pounds the target into silence or microphones used as listening posts. Cables lead from each microphone. And the press of a button gives the army a battery of ears. From the recording of the sound impulses, calculations are made which give the range and direction of the enemy artillery. And in the world of weather, the radio sonde, an instrument which continuously transmits humidity and pressure readings, is carried aloft by hydrogen-filled balloons. Technicians on the ground listen in to the weather above and forecasts are made. 